Hello and welcome back to How About That Crypto. You are watching your almost daily crypto news and updates with your host, Bitcoin Stylist on Twitter and Bitcoin Hairstylist on Instagram. I am here throughout the week and I explain crypto and Web3 while keeping you up to date on all the latest. Today's news and updates is all about NFTs. Being So the infamous Board 8 Piat Club has renewed accusations of being a Nazi troll. Is Board Ape Yacht Club a giant inside white supremacist or nihilist joke? We're going to look at it. I'm going to give you the information. You're going to be able to figure out what you want to do. This is uh, some sensitive stuff here. So I'm going to give you the information and let you decide. What does all the, What does it mean? Not to worry. We're going to get into it. Uh, if you like or don't like the content, please let me know by leaving a comment below. If you're listening on podcast, please rate me. Five stars is preferable. If you're watching on YouTube, please smash that subscribe button, ring the bell. It helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Just to be clear and litigious, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. You can use the links below to do your own research. All right. So the most popular NFT collection has been called Racist. And it's not the first time. Uh, it, it's also being called a Nazi and white power troll, as in like, I don't even know. We're going to get into it. I'll explain. They explain trolling better uh, in the video I'm going to show you. So could this be the case? I think it's like playing a joke on somebody or like, I don't know. Anyway, um, is it related to white power, Nazism or nihilism? I think I'll let you decide. Uh, let's take a look at this video. So if you're listening on podcast, don't worry, I will, you'll be able to hear it. So here it is. Bam. Let me just adjust my screen real quick. Okay. And uh, just remember, I am just reporting the news and updates. I think this is really important. This is uh, some cultural stuff happening here. And uh, Board Ape Yacht Club, you, there's been it's like $5 billion in value or something crazy like that. Yuga Labs is worth over a billion dollars. So this is interesting. All right, here you go. What if I told you that one of the most successful NFT collections in the world was pulling off the biggest troll in internet history? No, not convincing people that this ugly shit is art or that it has any value. What if I told you that hidden within Bored Ape Yacht Club was a series of 4chan trolling, racist imagery, and white supremacy dog whistles? And with a deep understanding of cipher and cryptography, the founders of Bored Ape Yacht Club are making a mockery of the entire world. Pulling the strings of the global elite, including celebrities, athletes, actors, and influencers. This story is extremely complicated for many reasons. The problem with accepting the truth I'm about to tell you is that you have to have extensive knowledge of 4chan, internet culture, and symbolism to even wrap your head around this and understand the motive. The most important fact I'm about to tell you that you must remind yourself as we go along is that the entirety of Board Ape Yacht Club is esoteric. By design, it is only meant to be understood by a select number of people with specialized knowledge. And as you can see here, it is considered based when others with that knowledge connect the dots. Almost all of the absurdist references present in Board Ape Yacht Club are glaringly obvious to the in crowd and are invisible to anyone who isn't terminally online. Okay, so I just wanna go in first and say, I don't care what it is, whether it's environmental, uh, social, cultural, financial. Anytime someone says that it's too difficult for the masses to understand, I get skeptical. OK, so I'm just I'm not defending it. I heard this and literally my buddy sent this to me and he said, you have to see this. I started listening. I'm like, well, it's already starting to tell me that I'm not going to get it. So I just got to take your word for it. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. Let's just keep looking. So, like, the question I have is who is behind this and who is the one saying all this stuff? So I'm just going to fast forward a little bit to right there. Wish there was a better way to pick your time on YouTube. Okay, you ready? I had my doubts about all of this. That one so he has his doubts about all of this. It was until I spoke with one of the top creative directors and internet artists in the world, who is an expert of internet culture, 4chan, and trolling. An artist who has worked with Kanye West, Grimes, 
and Tame Impala, among other creative projects that you've definitely seen. January 2022, a website goes live called gordongoner.com. Signed at the very bottom was the signature of Ryder Rips. Ryder Rips is eccentric and is a trendsetter in every regard. He created the Deal With It meme, Dump FM, Internet Archaeology, and V Files. When it comes to the internet, Ryder Rips is one of the most innovative artists of our generation. It's no secret that he uses internet culture and the nature of trolling to amplify his artistic messages. If there's anyone to educate others on iconography, and the meaning behind art, it's Ryder Rips. And if I happen to be the founders of an NFT project manipulating the masses into asserting value on racist imagery, I would not fuck with him. For the All right, so this dude Ryder Rips, he is somebody who looks like he definitely is a person that we should maybe listen to uh, because it sounds like he has some level of... Uh, experience sway influence so it you know i don't know like that's that's who's behind it this is the person he go he went online he said he did thousand hours of research with 10 other people they compiled this website gordongoner.com so you can check that out the link will be in the link description below also you can see this is a one hour uh video so i you can watch the whole thing if you want. Um, okay, so I got another 60 second clip that dives. Sorry, hold on. I got a longer clip. All right, so that was a 60 second clip. So, so let's talk about like, okay, so we know that it's an inside joke that only certain people will get. So I'm like, I don't know. And then it's like, well, who put this out? And writer, this dude, Ryder Rips is like, well, it sounds legit. I mean, I did a little bit of light research. I didn't do a deep dive into who this person was. Uh, so and it's like, do I really want to? I don't know. So let me just see what they have to say. So this is a, a, some examples of how trolling on the Internet can create social movements can get that get make people think something's real that is not real and we're going then we're going to hear from members of the black community respond to board ape yacht club all right so i'm going to pass forward ready endlessly one classic example of this was when 4chan tricked mainstream media into thinking the okay hand symbol signified white power the media ran with it and as a result actual white supremacists adopted it as their own an internet joke that illuminated a problem with mainstream media their willingness to post anything was taken literally and the meaning of the joke changed forever another example of this is comedian sam hyde being the ghost of kiev lastly let's talk about the benefit of the doubt imagine all of what i'm about to tell you is one giant coincidence so okay so real quick uh you could see that white power symbol that they showed uh that was not an actual sign by white supremacists uh, as a matter of fact they adopted it because it became so widely known um I mean, that's interesting. It was reported all over the news. I'm sure some of you heard about that and knew that, oh my gosh, I can't believe that somebody trolled a bunch of people, uh, trolled the internet and like spread all these rumors and all these concepts. And now we have this thing that people thought was real and it's not. Okay, so I mean, that could be the Board API Club, could be this really cool hip thing but maybe it is an inside joke or maybe this is a troll in of itself i don't know let's keep moving on somewhere along the grocery list of examples of board ape yacht club being one massive alt-right inside joke is a point at which these similarities are no longer coincidences let's call this the tipping point if i bring up one instance that highlights deliberate nazi fascist or alt-right messaging you may think to yourself i see it but that's a reach. So I ask you, what is your number? At what point do all of these examples become crystal clear in front of your eyes? For me, it was just one. First, let's talk about the apes as a whole. You don't have to look far on social media to see that many people believe the apes in Board Ape Yacht Club are inherently racist looking. Remember, they could have picked any animal, object, or thing to make an NFT project. Monkeys? 
Really? It seems a bit random, but we're dealing with deliberate messaging. This is not a mistake. This is Damon Dash, the founder of Rockefeller Records with Jay-Z. And then, I don't know if that monkey thing is like, because what's the biggest the NFT? Eight, the, eight. the eight. Don't, don't, the, the, don't, the, don't the, you think that's a little condescending to our just, culture in a little talk, bit? We were just talking about that. I, I, I feel like, is, is that a way a nerd is trying to get cute and laugh at us? We were just talking about that. Because either way, you should tread lightly with monkey when it, as it relates to our culture, because it's a trigger for us. Mm -hmm. And they keep doing it. So first I wasn't like, and then I was like, why is everything a gorilla or an ape or a monkey? Why it ain't a penguin or like a panda bear or something? Why is it something that's been used to, f you know, disrespect us for years? So I don't know, you know? Yeah. And when language is difficult for a creator, that leaves a, a lot of room for exploitation. You know, so that means a lot of people that can understand may take advantage of those creators that don't want to understand. Do you guys realize for the last two years, they got black people to invest in monkeys and dogs while making fun of us and taking our money from us. But Doge was going to the moon. When y'all get done, go look at Board Ape Yacht Club. All right. So what do you think about this? Uh, do you think, are you convinced? I bet you want to watch this video uh, and maybe look more into it. I'd be curious to know if this turns out to be legit, what do all those people that paid 600,000, 100,000, a million dollars for those NFTs, do they decide, you know what, fuck you, I don't care because uh, it's not, we're not, we're not gonna follow this and you can have your inside joke. Um, I don't know, I mean, I don't see that happening. I see that if this becomes legit, a bunch of people pull it down and guess what a bunch of people have pulled down their their profile pics like jimmy fallon was one and there's like six celebrities that have pulled them down they didn't make a statement about it so there you go all right so i'm gonna keep moving forward let's take a look at rider rips uh where is he um okay so who is rider rips where is it? Um, okay, so this is Rider Rips, BoardApeYachtClub.com, R-R-B-A-Y-C.com. There's a little, uh, the logo th that he has is the Board Ape Yoke logo, but it says this logo is based on the SS token off. So you should go to that website, GordonGarner.com. Here, I'll pull it up real quick. Uh, if you're listening on podcasts, I recommend you go check it out. But you can see they draw a lot of connections, connections between logos and symbolism that they make a really, very strong argument. Well, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to I'm going to uh, read you something on Wednesday, May 13th. This is Ryder Rips on Wednesday, May 13th. I began creating new work in the form of NFTs based on the Board API Club images. Through the process of reminting the original Board API Club images are, are recontextualizing, illuminating the truths about their origins and meanings, as well as the nature of Web3, the power of NFTs to change meaning, establish provenance, and evade censorship. Writer Rip Board API Club uses satire and appropriation to protest and educate people regarding the Board API Club and the framework of NFTs. The work is an extension of and the spirit of the other artists who have worked within the field of appropriation art. This collection was delisted from the foundation marketplace on May 17th, 2022, when Yuga Labs, Yuga Labs is the owner, uh, is the creator of, of Board API Club. They sent a DMCA takedown request. Two hours later, Yuga Labs formally capitulated, withdrawing that request. The current terms of ownership set forth by Yuga Labs to Board API Club token holders are unclear and do not meet current copyright standards. So it says clearly defining what we are buying when we purchase an NFT is one of the primary goals of this work. So basically, they I understand this to say that you're supposed to have intellectual property rights as the owner of the board apes and so the yuga labs is supposed to protect that i would think or maybe you as the owner have to protect it yourself so if someone remints or creates a fake in version of your nft then you have to sue them or go after them or go to the exchanges and tell them they can't sell it that i have i i had this and this is the original and that's a copy therefore you know there's some copyright issues so this things are still figuring we're still figuring on this stuff out 
All right, so let's hear from Yuga Labs. Uh, Yuga Labs, it says a little bit about us to start off the new year and what's coming. This is in January. So this stuff happened, started in January, but Ryder Ribs just, uh, this video is just, uh, it was posted, what does it say? It doesn't say. But this is just now coming, like this is kind of blowing up right now. So let's go back in here. What's the inspiration behind the name Yuga Labs? We're nerds. The Yuga is the name of villain in Zelda, whose ability is that he could turn himself and others into 2D art. Made sense for an NFT company. What was the inspiration behind Board of Yacht Club? There's a long history of people affectionately referring to themselves as apes and crypto, which is true. You know, just ape in the stupid apes. Uh, so and it has nothing to do with race. Uh, I'm not defending them. I'm just telling you, like, definitely I'm a dumb, stupid ape. I aped in and I made money on um, GameStop, AMC. I lost money. Um, also, I aped into other coins and crypto. So I know what they're talking about here, which is why some of the rarest, most valuable NFTs in the crypto punk collection are the apes. We like the idea of creating a whole collection around apes who became so wealthy because of crypto's rise that they became extremely board what is a board ape to do perhaps retreat to a secretive club in the swamp what was the inspiration behind the design of the board ape yacht club logo we never wanted to take ourselves too seriously so the look of the club is ramshackle and diving everything about the board ape yacht club was meant to convey a spirit of in irreverence and absurdity it's a yacht club that's actually falling apart and smack dab in the heart of the everglades as such it needed an appropriately grimly intriguing logo we went with an ape skull to help convey just how bored these apes are they're bored to death did you ever imagine that board ape yacht club would be as big as it is today no and while we're put, we, we've put our hearts and souls in this community, we can't credit for success before board ape yacht club launched many collections use predatory pricing structures and other elements that were inherently disuniting. By putting every NFT holder on equal footing with each other one, and by giving owners full commercial usage rights over their NFT, we set the stage for the community to be able to flourish beyond our wildest imagination. All right, and it keeps going on and on. Let's see, yeah. Yeah, so it just goes on and on and explains it. So, they're defending themselves saying, look, this is not racist. So you can make your own decision. All right. Um, well, in the meantime, until this is verified, the Rolling Stones just launched another project with the Board API Club. So you could see here, uh, the stuff is, looks pretty cool. Um, I think it's like pretty cool art. If it's racist, I feel bad for liking it. Um, but that's what I'm seeing here. And it says every big release, it, deserves a sequel. So Rolling Stones has done this before. They're partnering with the Board of Yacht Club for the second time to a new NFT collection. The new release includes two physical art prints available on the Board of Yacht Club website, as well as two digital NFTs that will be auctioned on OpenSea. Both pieces were created exclusively for this release, both offering fans and collectors a chance to own something from one of the biggest digital art collectives in the world today and one of the most iconic magazines of all times. And this was released two days ago. So, what do you think about this? I would like to hear from you. This is a big topic. Hopefully you get a lot uh, of engagement on this. I'm very curious to know what the community thinks. And um, yeah, so uh, have a good day and I will see you all tomorrow probably. All right, hodl on.